Jai Blani. Well, this, to be honest, is Brittany, the cheapest Ford Fairlane in Australia that we know of. There's probably others out there, but we don't know. So that's what we're going on. It's a silver VA Mark II Fairlane. Um, Ball tires, normal issues. We'll go to the front end, we'll show you the motor. It's got all the wind deflectors and that. It's a pretty good car for the price we pay. It's got the barrel motor here. And we've got all our protectors and the car. So we've got the barrel motor, it's got the Tiptronic 4 speed auto, not the 6 speed, but that's good enough. We've got all the stuff to tune this engine and all that and give it good service. So, but it does run and drive, which I'll close the bonnet because it's starting to rain guys. We're trying to get this video in between the rain and it's just not happening. There we go. As you can see, she's filthy dirty because she's been out the farm. We haven't cleaned it yet. So we don't want to hide nothing from it. Alright. Alright. Now we'll go to the interior. You want to walk around and come in the other side and jump in with us guys? Welcome here, sir. Brittany. We've got leather seats. We've got the Tiptronic Auto, we've got a pretty flash stereo, nice steering wheel, all the controls. Alright, where are we going to go? There's the ignition, and it does run and drive. Ready? Ah, oh, we need the jump pack. It's not going to start for us. Alright. Ah, oh, Fully Siddle's running, man. Yeah, hang on. I'm coming. Ugh. Trey's hooked up the jump pack for us. We're flicking the switch, hopefully it's got enough charge in it. Well, that's your beep, So yeah, we go. Ignition, there we go. Look at that. Alright, we're going to shut that back. Good grief, this bloody heavy battery. Why are they so heavy? Uh, uh. No, so you got a jump pack there. I forgot about that. So you don't need me. So I guess you can carry on. Um, yeah, call me when you need a driver. See you soon, mate. As you can see, he does go. Where are you? Right here. Righty-o. So this is it. She goes, got nice, this is it. Very nice, all highlighted. Beautiful seat, which I'll probably see a bit of and I'll probably gap the tape up in the back while the boys drive, because blind me and misbehaves. But, as you see, it runs good. Not bad, and that's about a tune. So once you've had a tune, it should be right. We do have issues with the mirror doesn't work, the window doesn't work. Um, when you lock it, it keeps unlocking and locking. But after a bit of research, it could just be that door needs work. Or a BCM, which I've already done some pricing and inquiring. And once I find out what colour it is, I've got one lined up. It's got to get the colour. But that's the inside of um, Brittany. So let's move on. We'll turn this off now. Alright, body wise. Body wise, it's not the tidiest car, but you know, it's got a patch of rust over here somewhere. So I did find just there, there's something going on with the body. Just there, yep, bit of rust just inside here. Yeah, so I've got to tackle that, and there's a ding somewhere here. We oh, thought. there's a bit of pain off here, Jace, down here. Down here? Yep, right there. Oh, yeah. Well, see, it's, it's got its marks, and she's no um, rose, but $350, guys. It didn't have the 18 inch wheels that are on the back on it when we uh, purchased it. I bought them for 80 bucks. 
at 18s. They're not staying on it for the trip because we need the sidewall for the rough roads that are going on. So we're going to use these front rims. We're going to use these ones because they've got a big sidewall and they should hang in there. So we're going to use them ones. And that's Brittany. She's um, not the roughest p lane in the world by, by far, but she's definitely the cheapest as far as I'm concerned. And we've been led to believe. So, you can now see him, Brittany. What do you think? Is she the cheapest fair lane? Do you think she'll make the distance? As I said, she's got issues. We've got to do the uh, rear rose joints, the tail shaft, center bearing, a full service. We've got the brakes to go in. We've got lots to do. But, hopefully Brittany makes it for us. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. And this is Brittany. Keep your tires turning. Till next time. Bye. Okay, so we're going to need some rigs, we're going to need some duct tape, um, a bit of rope, a good sized kettle prod. Oh, hey everyone! <clears throat> Don't mind me, just packing a few essentials for the trip. Uh, nothing to keep a blind man under control or anything like that, no? Anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that this journey starts on March 22nd. <clears throat> well, something like. That this journey starts on March 22nd. That is the day that me and my dad will be jumping on a plane in Kalgoorlie, flying all the way to Brisbane to catch up with the madman, I mean the blind man and Brittany in the car park. If he's not there, we're screwed. Yeah. Anyway, we'll find a way to catch up with him anyway, no matter what. So, keep an eye on all our social medias. That way you can keep up to date with everything that goes on, along with getting Brittany ready, getting it registered, and making sure I get my ass on the plane. Until then, we shall catch you later. Oh, thank you very much to everyone who has donated to our GoFundMe page. Uh, that will just ease the burden of all the fuel, accommodation, and food costs on our epic 5,000 kilometer journey across this great country. So, I'll catch you next time, and I need to go find my chloroform. I left it around here somewhere.